I'm still on the same vibe like I've been working on me pouring into me I I'm bit I've really been standing on business y'all in a worse way so if y'all was wondering if I like swung the bin or went back into my old negative habit no I've actually been standing on business out here working on me building me up and you know just vibing oh. Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> it's okay? Good morning, y'all. <coughs> Boy, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. It's Rose Michelle here, if you're new. Subscribe and join the family. You gonna love it here, okay? So... I'm about to do I'm about to do my little morning routine well my skincare routine I told y'all that I would show y'all all the skincare products that I've freshly added to my routine so I'm gonna show y'all don't even trip don't trip baby <laughs> I told you guys I would show you the, uh, 
in the last vlog i told you guys that i would show you the new products that i've incorporated into my skincare routine um so this is one of them this is called stridex and it has salicylic acid with acne medication um i've been breaking out i don't know why but this has helped to like keep my breakouts under control it's like a little pad and i just will put it on like my problem areas which is like my cheeks my chin and my forehead i be getting like little breakouts and stuff so i just make sure i apply that to my forehead uh, over this big forehead But now that that's all dry, make sure y'all get y'all a little fan. It makes skincare so much more fun. And I'm gonna go in with this Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I have used this on my channel before. I did stop using it, not for any particular reason, just because I was hooked on the CeraVe Hydrating Toner and it was much more affordable. But I ended up getting me a little bottle because I missed it. A little toner for the face. And I just been using my hands. Cause the way I just be running through cotton pads makes no sense. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Gut Molecules Daily Brightening Serum. I literally just got this <laughs> and I'm hooked even if you don't have visible dark marks I feel like a vitamin C serum is still good for your skin make sure you get that neck no pun intended how's my skin looking so far it just looks radiant to me like I feel like my skin looks radiant and just pretty and I've been like focusing on making sure my skin looks good but yeah y'all while we're waiting for the product to dry how do you guys like my little pretty little thing pajama top so funny story I ordered this pajama set from pretty little thing it came with pants and a top but the pink like I ordered a size 10 because on pretty little thing Sometimes I'm a size 10 or sometimes I'm an 8, sometimes I'm a 6. Like the size is never like, it varies. You just got to look at it and see like, okay, I can squeeze my little tiny ass in this or mm, I'm going to need something a little bigger. But anyway, I ordered it. I'm like, it's pajamas, whatever. Child, tell me why the pajamas was given like 2X. I literally had to give the pajama pants away. But I kept the top because I was like, this gives me like a nightgown feel. And I really like it. And I love nightgowns when I go to sleep. But so I kept the top and I gave away the bottom. I'm like, I like this. Next, I'm going to go in with this discoloration, discoloration correcting serum. And it improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation and dark marks. Because early prevention, you know. And you do have to shake it before using it. And NYX actually just got this. And like Sephora has like the sample box with fresh. The only thing I hate about this, getting the, the serum I'll be mad on. But anyway, I just pat that into my skin. Y'all don't see, my skincare is like very extensive. But I can do it fast. Like I'm so used to it by now. Next, I'm going to go in with this product right here. For best results use morning and night. So you can use it morning and night. Um, so yeah, this has been my little go-to oil. And I've just been using it literally every day. And I'm about to run out because I love this. And I usually just do six drops, which is enough for my face and neck. It provides like an instant glow and healthy look. The Molecules Eye Cream. Now, I just got into the eye cream game. I've never been an eye cream girly. I don't have like dark marks under my eyes, but early prevention, you know. So, but I do wake up with puffy eyes. 
so this is kind of like a wake up gel and it usually my eyes take a, a few hours to like depuff in the morning i feel like i could use like an ice roller but that's not realistic for my everyday routine i'm not gonna do that every day because i'm like rushing and stuff it's easier for me to just dab on some eye cream i don't know if it works i don't know if it depuffs my eyes i don't know and then method lashes my pony until i take my lashes off i won't know but i'm still using it because like i said i got all of these good molecule good molecules products about a week ago and i intend on being consistent with them so i can see like okay this is a skincare brand i want to like you know really like try and like you know be consistent with or it's not for me and the only way you'll know is if you do it i always give myself a month and i'm like after a month i should see like a little bit of changes if i don't then i might keep using it if it doesn't like make my skin regress you know if it's just like eh, it doesn't really doesn't help it doesn't not help so I'll, I'll still use it like literally just a little pea-sized amount i don't even know if y'all can see that probably not but i just take a little bit and i just put it under my eye and next i'm gonna go in with the rose deep hydration face cream and i just go in with a little bit i don't need a lot And that's my morning skincare routine. About to hop in the shower and you know get ready to start my day. So I'll see y'all after I'm out of the shower, dressed and moisturized and all that good stuff. what's up y'all so it's been a little minute since i got back on the camera so um i was gonna vlog today that was the plan originally to vlog but it's such it was such a nasty day out that i literally just couldn't do it like it was raining heavy raining i'm like i wanted to vlog and you know go to stores and stuff like that but it put a damper on things for me and it also just like made everything like so much more chaotic. I don't know how to explain it, but people were driving. Like no one ever knows how to drive in the rain or the snow. So it's like they just be adding to like the fuck shit. So I didn't vlog. And then when I got to the store, I realized I left my camera at home. But then I was like, I could vlog on my phone. I looked at it and I hated it so we're not even gonna add that footage um, I'm gonna go out tomorrow and I'm gonna take you guys along with me tomorrow is Sunday it is also Palm Sunday so I plan on going to church I have to do a Target run and um, yeah I also wanted to do I also wanted to run to the mall but I'm not sure about that. I might have to do that on Monday and if I do go, I'll just insert the clips. But I plan on just making this vlog like a little weekend thing. I don't have anything like super excited plan super exciting planned. I just y'all just coming with me to run some errands. We're going to be in the house chilling, you know, all of that. So I don't know, but I cooked dinner last night and um I I didn't wash all the dishes y'all I'm gonna be honest with y'all I was so you know how like cooking is like it takes so much out of you and normally I'm very good at like cleaning up as I cook I feel like that's a little cheat code for you clean as you go the more you clean the less you'll have at the end and that's what it is I don't really have a lot I just have some plates that I, that I need to wash. I'm actually just gonna pop those in the dryer. I said in the dryer, no. I'm gonna pop those in the dishwasher. This is like my first time ever using a dishwasher, like ever. Normally, I'm with the, you feel me? Old school, 
just wash some dishes in the sink, get the sponge, go to work, you know, real soul girl shit. But I realized, like, I need to live a soft life. <laughs> Say like, nah, I don't know. When I'm like really like just over it, I'm using the dishwasher. If I'm not over it, then I'll wash the dishes. Either way, the dishes are getting clean, so. But anyway, I was gonna do it last night, but then I said, I gotta record that. So, yeah, so I just wanted to get on here really quick and talk to you guys. And then we're gonna go clean up the kitchen because the kitchen looks a mess. And I cannot live that way. Like, all last night, I just didn't feel right with the dishes in the sink. But that's what I do when I'm trying to, like, give y'all content and show y'all, like, a day of my life. <laughs> I didn't show me cooking because I've just been in, like, this mood and, like, this rut, kind of. And cooking for me was so therapeutic yesterday and i needed that alone time i literally poured myself a glass of wine and i just cooked myself some salmon and some rice and um i had some string beans and i just ate that and life was just you know i was just enjoying the moment the stillness just me being by myself and just you know enjoying that so i didn't vlog because I don't know sometimes I'll be needing that that time and also I'm trying to cook a lot more because I don't know I feel like I haven't been cooking a lot <laughs> like a few years ago I was on my like cooking shit like I was cooking but I was in like a different space in life so I like I don't know I don't want to say I had a reason to cook because I'm hungry that's reason enough to cook but I don't know I was just in a different space in life so I was cooking more often and I feel like I kind of just dropped the ball on that. I just cook here and there. And it's like, no, because I waste money on like buying food and stuff. Why not cook the food and, you know, expand my cooking horizons and just make different dishes and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be bringing that content to y'all. Cooking and just trying new things. I saw something where um, somebody made sushi. And I did want to try that. Like, I'm, I really want to try that. So, I have to get all the materials that you would need to make sushi. And, you know, hopefully it's not expensive. Because I ain't trying to spend a lot of money. I'm, like, trying to be very aware of the money that's leaving my bank account. Because I... I've been in my bag. When I be, when I be in a rut, but retail therapy... Retail therapy takes me to my happy place. And ever since I've been in this rut, i just been swipe, 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 swipe. No more. No more. Okay, we need to get it together. So, I'm done shopping. Only thing, I feel like the sushi thing, I really want it because I love sushi. I'm a sushi connoisseur. I don't like every type of sushi, but I like sushi, so... If I can make it at home, why not? But, yeah. Anyway, before I even do that, I have two packages that I want to open up on the vlog. So, I want to do that before I wash dishes. Because I feel like after I clean up the kitchen, I'm not going to be in the mood to try on shit. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go get the packages. I'll be right back, y'all. So, I ordered a package from Fenty Beauty. They were having a sale. Um, I believe it was like 30% off on the whole website from March something to March 21st, I believe. I'm not sure. But I had to get my hands on this because I've just been hearing everybody talking about it and everyone's just been saying how good it smells and all that other stuff. I was like trying to go to Sephora to see if they have it, like the tester so I can smell it and see, but they didn't have it at the Sephora that I went to. So I'm like, let me just order it. Why not? But I believe it came down to like 60 something dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I Wait, I think it was $60. I'm not sure. It was something along the lines of that. It was expensive, but I just felt like I earned this little treat. Okay, so I'm about to open this so I can show you guys um, what it is. I bet y'all wondering like, what is this? 
Let me put these scissors in my pocket. That is not safe. But I love this upside down. Okay, packaging. Hold on. I need this to be very aesthetic. Okay, you guys. So here is the package. I'm like so excited right now. <laughs> this is so cute. I actually love this color. This is like such a pretty color. All right, now how do I get this open? Okay, y'all, sorry, my camera cut off. But, my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've Y'all, I want to smell it. And it even comes with this little, um, like, scoop thingy. So that your hand is not going in the product. You can kind of just scoop it, put it on your hand. And it's so cute. I love that it's, like, this copper color. And it says Fenty. This is so cute. I'm literally, like, I'm obsessed. I want to smell it. Oh my goodness, this smells delightful. Y'all, this, if you haven't gotten it, if you haven't gotten this, y'all, get this. You're gonna smell like, chow, you're gonna smell very edible. Like me, I love like thick moisturizing body creams that smell just amazing. That has like that smell, you know? Make a nigga hug you a little longer than he need to, okay? Because you just out here smelling good, looking good. Shoot. Okay. I love this. And I... Ah, this... <laughs> now, all I need is the perfume. I need the perfume to go with this. I need the whole thing, the whole shebang. Okay? So, that's what we got for Fenty... I don't think I got anything else. I believe that was it. Let's double check. Yeah, that was it. I didn't get anything else. Okay, y'all. So the next thing that I got is from Fashion Nova. Um, I don't remember exactly what I got. Again, I just be ordering stuff. But I got me a little package from Fashion Nova. And I'm going to open it up for you guys here on the vlog. So you guys get my real reaction in time, you know? And maybe a Fashion Nova partnership will come with it. But, you know, I keep my candy candy scissors with me. But, okay. Oh my goodness, I got two things. So, I remember now. I got this dress that I saw online and I was like I have to get it like I plan on doing something for my birthday hopefully not in the country and I feel like my vibe this time around is definitely in the nude like tan nude category you know what I'm saying so I'm just like this is such a cute dress it gives you that little off the shoulder vibe and it's also spandex. I got it in a size large because somebody said it's like really, really tight. And I love that. I love when a dress can give snatched. You know what I'm saying? Like you could really snatch my little muffin top. <sighs> Listen, I'm sold. So when I read the reviews, they said that um, it was super tight and um, you know, you should probably size up. I don't know. I feel like around the booby area, though, it might be a little big. But we'll see. And it's also very long. So if you are a tall girly and you're looking for, like, an actual maxi dress, this is it. Okay? Well, let me try it on first before I tell y'all. And I'll let y'all know, depending on how long it is on me, I'll let you know, like, if you a tall girly, get your hands on this so i will have this link down below for you guys again depending on how it looks on me i'll i'll still probably link it because 
even if it doesn't look good on me it might look amazing on you so i'll still link it i'm about to try it on for y'all real quick i'll be right back i gotta get undressed and i don't need y'all sneaking a peek <laughs> so this is it i don't know if y'all can see it but y'all this is a size medium i'm normally no i'm sorry this is a size large i'm usually a size medium or small depending on the vibe of the dress this is a size large and i feel snatched and it's not like that i don't know how to explain it like this was really like well thought out you know it's cute it's very long if you're a tall girly like i'm talking 5'11 5'9 5'8 5'7 five six two because you know when you five six you could either make it or miss it so this is meant for tall girlies like i feel like i'm gonna wear this with heels it goes down to my ankles and it could go even lower like child this shit is not at my ankles it's on the floor okay but it's super cute i wish i could show y'all but like you know with the camera set up it's hard but this area right here i feel like i want my boobs to be more like so i will probably wear it with a um a strapless bra just to fill it out a little bit more because there's a little bit of a gap but down here it fits perfectly like i feel snatched it's just so cute and you know it could hide the little tummy part. You just got to know how to fix the ruffles, okay? But y'all see when I put it together. The dress is so long. But y'all will see when I put it together. Like, this is so cute. I just, I want some gold bangles going up the arm. You know, some really cute earrings. Probably like a, like a color, like maybe orange. You know, that type of vibe. Just really playing off the, you know, the color of this spring slash summer so i'm definitely popping out in this this is so cute i like it the price is reasonable i believe it was like 40 something dollars um it gives snatch so hey okay i would size up because this is like snatched i don't know how to explain it like it's very snatched i can't wait to dress it up and put it together i see it with like some boho knotless braids um yeah, so this is going to be added to my birthday outfits. I'm giving grown, you know what I'm saying? I'm still in my 20s, but we're maturing. You know, we're aging gracefully and we're giving, okay? So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, I'm about to wash these dishes really quick and just get them out the way. It's not that many dishes anyway, so... I don't see the need to like load my dishwasher it's late and I just want to get undressed get in my pajamas and lay down and put on Netflix and keep it pushing so that's what I'm gonna do let's go y'all Hey, truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Okay, y'all, so I got my food. I'm gonna do a quick little taste test for you guys. I feel like this is like cold. I don't like my food cold. I might have to warm it up, but I'll still try it. This um, did come with black beans, but I don't really like just beans on my plate. Unless it's like zikole, which is Haitian rice and beans. I don't know who 
told them to put cilantro on my shit? Ugh, it tastes good, but the cilantro taste like throws it off. Ugh. Ugh, I need to get all of this off of my food. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to eat it. Okay. Now we have the plantains. Plantains are really good. I don't think anybody can screw with plantains. So, um, there's that. But this is really good. I feel like this, the cilantro throws it off for me because I don't like cilantro. But besides that, it's really good. It's like a good little dish. This will definitely be dinner for me if I can get the cilantro taste out of here. If I can't, I probably won't finish it, I'm not gonna lie. Cilantro just tastes like breath to me and I just cannot do it. I'm gonna go and warm this up and yeah I'll see y'all a little bit later right now I have things to do to prep for work tomorrow and I'm thinking about meal prepping tonight that's why I wanted to eat and get that out the way so I'll probably vlog tomorrow or something I don't know but I will see maybe I'll pick up the camera tonight and I'll see y'all tonight. I am on my way to Target. Listen, I've tried to go to Target at least like 10 times, okay? And I'm like, today I'm going to Target. You know, my everyday like skincare products as far as like body care. So, I'm like, I gotta get that. Um, and that's about it for the day. I'm gonna be doing that and then for the rest of the day, I'm gonna be editing this vlog so that I can put it out and I can start on some different content. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing today. This car is driving so slow. I hate that. Don't do that. Just go. Where is the native body washes? Like, what the heck?
now I'm at Marshall's. I don't know why. It's the Starbucks. Like, these are too stiff. I'm looking for the ones that you can kind of karate chop in the middle. These are like way too stiff, but I love this like checker pattern. I feel like that would be cute, but I don't know. I might have to go to Home Goods. I don't know. Featuring my Starbucks drink. So I'm about to leave Marshall's and I'm gonna go home because that coffee. I'm on my way back home. So yeah, should we do another jam session? Fake love at an all time high. So how am I being alone? As long as I got myself. When it comes to careful, I ain't got Actually, I need to be in this place. Sorry. Winter's Diary 5 is coming out and I'm just prepping y'all. Okay, you guys, so I just put on my robe. I needed something. I needed to get in something a little bit more comfortable. So now I'm gonna do a, um, a try on haul. I'm gonna do a Target haul to show you guys what I got from Target. Um, and then I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I had to pull my hair back out of my face so I could, you know, get in that mold. I'm about to cook after I do this haul. I'll be back, let me get back. I got this stuff, y'all. Okay, and I also got the Native Body Wash. This one is in the scent Sea Salt. I don't know, they didn't have much to, to like pick from. They didn't have many scents to pick from at Target. Literally, they had this one, and then they had um, the Girl Scout cookie scents, like, like Thin Mints and um, the little shortbread cookie. I didn't want that. When I smelled it while I was in the aisle, it literally like, the smell was like too much and it was giving me a headache a little bit. So I decided to opt for the sea salt. Let me smell it again. Do I like it? Yeah, it smells fresh. It smells fresh. So yeah, this was cool. I opened it and I smelled it before I left and it smelled fresh. So I got it. And this is my first time using the Native Body Wash. Before I was using Method Body Wash, but then people were saying it's not healthy for you, so. <sighs> and I love the Method Body Wash, but now, you know, we're choosing health over all that other stuff. So I got the Native, and let's hope nothing's wrong with that. Because at this point, how do y'all want me to shower? You know, everything's just not good for you, so. How does this work? We have this bad boy over here. The Therabreath um, mouthwash. This one is in Sparkling Mint. I had to re-up on this. I literally ran out of this last night when I was brushing my teeth. So it didn't feel right this morning when I woke up and I didn't have this to use. So I'm like, I have to make sure I get this. And I got it. Sponsor me. Then I got this hand cream. I wash my hands a lot, especially at work. And I, I need like a thick hand cream, you know, something that's going to truly moisturize my hands. And I ran out of the one that I got from Sephora that was very moisturizing. And I was like, I was walking down the aisle because I was literally going to go to Sephora after Target to go and get that hand cream because I cannot function with dry lips and dry hands. Like I can't function. I need moisturized lips and I need moisturized hands. My hands, like I literally... Touching things feel weird when my hands are dry. I know that sounds like what, but I'm dead serious. Touching things feels weird when my hands are dry. So I have to make sure that I have like a thick hand cream that's gonna really like moisturize my hands. And it's like super hydrating according to this. So I'll let y'all know if y'all should get this. And then I got a couple of face masks. I got this pink clay mask and this purifying mask. And then I got this collagen mask. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to try them. But, um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the Target haul. My Target haul was strictly, like, 
Oh my gosh. So let me tell you how I got to the register to pay for my EOS body lotions, but I didn't realize that both of them were open and the lady who was checking me out, she said that they were open and I'm happy she said that. And when she lifted it, she was like, oh, it's open. And then she lifted the other one. I got two, I got the coconut and the vanilla and they both were open. So I'm like, just leave it. Cause I'm not going all the way back down there to get new ones. I think that um, I'm gonna order it off of the Target website and just do that. Cause I don't need it, I still have some. I don't need it like today, like how I needed my other stuff. Cause I was literally out. I already have most of my footage edited. All I have to do is do the tedious things. So I wanna edit these clips today so that I can add that and then finish the tedious stuff and upload it. So I'm not gonna add any more to this. For me, apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations. I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you juggle your kids, the biz, the fame, the bitches that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you take in a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying. Do you clear your mind? A lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Family been doing you wrong. All days you feeling like you on your own. I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was. But never mind that, I'm back. I'm sending you this little audio hug. And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure, they know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you scissors and Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me, don't hesitate please. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I don't really have anything planned for the rest of the day Nothing exciting I'm just gonna be editing As always, if you made it to the end of this video Thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a friendly comment and like the video. It helps the algorithm so much. Bye.